Small AI is better. Overly large LLMs are bad. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer Thomason. Here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps and build custom software solutions. I do a lot of work as a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology teams and products. Small AI is definitely better, and I'm not really a big fan of the overly large LLMs. And we're seeing a rise of small AI. Let's dive in and talk about this topic today, and we're going to dig in and give you some of my analysis. So the tech world is buzzing about the latest advancements in AI. And while large language models, LLMs, grab headlines, it's the smaller models that are really going to make some big impact. I recently read an article on TechCrunch where Zuckerberg mentioned that Meta will need 10 times more computing power to train Llama 4 than Llama 3. This got me thinking about the practicality of these enormous models. For most businesses, the costs and resource required to build and run these giant models are simply unattainable. Smaller AI models, on the other hand, offer a more feasible solution. They're not only cost effective, but they're also easier to train and to deploy. Now, smaller AI models are proving to be remarkably efficient. According to an article by VentureBeat, these smaller models can deliver high performance with significantly lower computational risks. This makes them ideal for small to medium-sized enterprises that need AI solutions but can't afford the hefty price tag associated with these enormous models. They reduce the resource demand also means that they can run on more affordable hardware, making AI accessible to a broader range of businesses. Efficiency without excessive costs. What's not to love? So there's a common misconception that bigger is always better. However, studies such as those published show that smaller models can often outperform larger counterparts in specific tasks. This is because smaller models can be fine-tuned more effectively to suit particular needs. For instance, Microsoft's Phi 3, one of the smallest AI models, has been shown to outperform large models in certain applications. The focus on building leaner, purpose-driven models can yield improved impressive results without all the bloat, both with cost and efficiency. So the financial burden of developing and maintaining large language models is staggering. As highlighted in TechCrunch article, the sheer computing power needed for training these models is beyond the reach of most businesses. This limits their use to tech giants and well-funded institutions. For everyone else, the focus should be on smaller models that can be trained and deployed at a fraction of the cost. This democratizes access to AI, allowing more businesses to benefit from its capabilities without breaking the bank. It's a class classic case of David versus Goliath, and David is looking pretty good. Now, smaller AI models are not only cost-effective, but also highly adaptable. According to a blog post by Salesforce, these models can be easily customized for various business needs. The flexibility is crucial in a rapidly changing tech landscape where businesses must quickly adapt to new challenges. Large models with their monolithic structures often lack this adaptability. Small models can be tailored to a specific use case, providing businesses with the precision tools they need. It's all about agility in today's fast-paced world. Now, the other part is that large AI models are notorious for their energy consumption. Training these behemoths can have a significant environmental impact. And in contrast, smaller models require less energy, making them a greener choice. This is an important consideration as businesses strive to become more sustainable. By opting for smaller models, companies can reduce their carbon footprint while still leveraging powerful AI capabilities. It's a win-win situation for both the business and the planet. Now, one of the biggest advantages of smaller AI models is their accessibility. As highlighted in a lot of these reports, these models can be used and modified by developers without requiring extensive resources. This is something that a developer can run just on their local machine without needing a whole bunch of huge computation power. This opens up AI development to a wider range of talent, fostering innovation and creativity. Large models, on the other hand, often require specialized knowledge and a lot of specialized equipment, creating barriers to entry. Smaller models democratize AI by allowing more people to contribute to its advancements. This is crucial for driving the field forward. So a significant trend in AI is the development of purpose-built models designed for specific tasks. If you think about it, a business usually needs AI to really do a handful of set tasks. So as discussed in a lot of blogs that I've been reading, these models can outperform larger general purpose models when applied to niche applications. This approach aligns well with the needs of many businesses that require specialized AI solutions. By focusing on building smaller, task-specific models, companies can 
achieve better performance and efficiency. It's about building the right tool for the job rather than a one-size-fits-all solution or something that can boil the whole ocean. Now, the long-term viability of smaller AI models is really promising. According to Microsoft, their Phi 3 model is not only one of the smallest, but also one of the most powerful in its categories. This demonstrates that with the right design and optimization, small models can compete with large and even surpass in specific areas. As AI technology continues to evolve, the focus will likely shift towards more sustainable and efficient models. Smaller AI models are poised to lead the way in this new era of AI development. Now, finally, the biggest benefit of smaller AI models is the potential to empower small businesses. As noted in multiple sources, these models can be trained and deployed on a budget, providing powerful AI tools to businesses that would otherwise be left out. So this levels the playing field, allowing small and medium-sized enterprises to compete with larger corporations. By focusing on accessible AI solutions, we can drive innovation and growth across the entire business landscape. The future of AI is not just about bigger models, but smarter, more efficient ones. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love having a great discussion, so make sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out because we'd love to help. Hit the link down below or check out startuphack.com today.